G'day Native Bee Nick here. Today I'm going to show you in this little hive I built quite a long time ago. It's Tetragonula cliparis and it's our smallest social bee that we're aware of in Australia. There might be more, we don't know, we haven't gone looking, but uh, this bee sometimes is called by the First Nations people to Australia as the mosquito bee up in northern Queensland so I'll take you and let's go have a look inside the hive. All right so let's have a look inside here. Now these bees are so small they can actually have their whole nest inside of a coconut. One of the defining features of this bee is actually these little ridge lines they've got along the back of their thorax as well as that the hive bees usually have an orange pointed abdomen. Let's try and get this in the light better. Just like sapiens they separate their brood in old and new and these bees have an unusual swarming behaviour that's not seen by any of our other well-known bees. They like to come out of the hive, usually multiple hives, swarm around in a big swarm for about an hour and then return either into their prospective hives or into one of the several hives that sent out the swarm originally. They have really, really little uh, features in their hive, little honey pots, little pollen pots. Here's my finger in comparison to the brood. It's all very miniature. So that's Tetragonula cliparis for you. So there you go, a closer look at Tetragonula cliparis. I'll leave you with some footage of the bees. The first piece of footage will show those lines clearly depicted on the thorax. I'm unsure whether this is a way that scientists use to define this bee, but I've never really read about it anywhere. It's the way that I use when I'm comparing different bees up in northern Queensland when I'm looking at them under microscopes and things like that. Also, if you like my content, come along to Australian Native Bee and check out my website. I've also got a new online course there for people wanting to start off in stingless bees and learn all about propagating them and hives and everything else. So come check that uh, course out if you're interested in stingless bees and starting out with them. Thank you very much.